Chris, great to have you here. Glad to be here. Thank you for uh, being a part of Street Beat. Uh, one of the things that we'll, we'll go right to, uh, you have a suspect that you're looking for, wanted for murder. Um, That's correct. Go ahead and tell us a little bit what you know about that and what, how we can help. Well, Lancaster Daniel is currently assisting homicide with a case that occurred October 16th in, in 2003. Uh, the suspect is identified as Darren James Norman. Uh, the victim of this crime was uh, Trayvon Coleman. What's unique about this is that the uh, suspect and the victims were acquaintances before the crime occurred, so they knew each other, so there's no strangers attached in this at all. Um, shortly after the shooting, the uh, victim was transported to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. Um, so uh, we're still looking for the suspect, has known ties to the valley as well as other areas that we're also looking at. Uh, but if anyone with any information is encouraged to call the station at 948-8466 with any information they may have as far as apprehending the suspect. Let's go back to the, the date and, and, and the time of when this happens because maybe it'll jar somebody's okay. memory. So go ahead. The it happened on October 16th in 2003, uh, just north of um, the, uh, Avenue I, around 5th Street East and Avenue H14. So anybody who uh, was in that area around that time that may have heard something or may have seen someone running or fleeing from the scene is encouraged to call the station. We're working this feverishly with homicide, trying to catch this suspect. All right. Right now, running as a suspect of another of, of another crime that Lancaster Station mm -hmm. is looking for, and that's so, and that's okay. Uh, one of the things, you know, you talk about looking at everything else. You're trained. You're highly trained at, at you know what to look for and things like that. But somebody like if they're at home, right, or or they're in the car, or whatever, and, and they see something going on. What's a, what's a good thing, get some pointers on what to look for? Well, the first and, first and foremost, the first point that I would like to get out there is for people not to get involved physically. Um, be a good witness. Um, try to identify what the suspect may be wearing, uh, any physical oddities, whether they're wearing a cast or a hat of any kind, um, their body structure, their size, their shape, um, anything that will help us identify the suspect when we come, arrive on the scene, because typically we're coming to the scene after it's occurred. But sometimes there are witnesses right there at the, at the time of occurrence that can really give us information that will help us find the suspect very soon. And that's very important. So by all means, don't get involved physically, but you can be involved as far as letting us know what you saw. Right. Things to look for, tattoos. Tattoos, also. obviously. Uh, if you look for that, if you see any weapons, that would help us uh, out tremendously. Um, anything that you can see that's out of the ordinary. Be a good observer because uh, we can't do it ourselves, all by ourselves. We need the community's help in order to uh, make the city a better city. And now, Chris, you, uh, tell us about the unit you're working with now. I'm currently assigned to uh, OSS, this Operation Safe Streets. Uh, we're headquartered out of Rancho Dominguez. Uh, what we are, we're, we're a headquarters gang unit. And our job is to uh, track and uh, identify any gang members in the L.A. County, uh, what their activities are, what kind of cases they're being arrested for. Um, basically, just try to monitor all the activity that they, that they do. Uh, they will travel from city to city. Well, because we're a headquarters unit, we have units throughout the LA County, we also will travel city to city and we share the information uh, that we have with other, op other officers from other agencies as well as other detectives from uh, Lancaster, Palmdale, Compton, as far as LA County stretches. And our goal is to work together in order to track down the gang members and, and track their activity. They're very active right now. Detective Chris Keeling from Lancaster Station, thank you for your hard work. Thank and you, thank Andrew. you for the commitment of everybody at Lancaster Station.